What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? And welcome back here today to, I guess my first start today re rebuild this year, but it is going to be a realistic one. And today we are rebuilding the OKC Thunder. So yeah, I have yet to rebuild the OKC Thunder here on NBA 2K20. Uh, and the reason why I want to do this team so badly is because they have so many draft picks. Look at all that. Look at all that. Also, I dropped episode two of the Just Ball podcast. Link to that in the description below. But yeah, we obviously have a nice young point guard to build around in Shea Gilgis Alexander. Uh, so he's going to be here for the long run. Chris Paul, though, unfortunately, he will probably also be here for at least the next oh, three years. Oh, that's that's a little bit rough. That's that is rough. Uh, Roberson, I believe he's in the last year of his deal, or he has a player option. Okay, so he might be gone at the end of, after the end of this year. Uh, Ferguson, you know, I'm not going to send him to the G League. Uh, I'll send him to the, uh, maybe, maybe, actually. Oh, God. Small forward, yeah, a little bit weak. Gallinari, I'm going to look to trade. And then um, I'm actually going to send Darius Baisley to the G League. So, yeah, I'm actually going to look to trade Gallinari, and then we might look to trade Steven Adams on draft night. All right, I want to see if I can trade Gallinari to the Blazers for a unprotected first round pick and Kev Bazemore, and they agree to that. So the um, the Blazers get definitely a better bench player in Gallinari, maybe can play him at the four if Collins gets hurt, even though injuries aren't on. So yeah, the rotation isn't going to be that good. Uh, we definitely want to make sure that Shea Gilgis is starting and getting 35 minutes a game. So we can give like Noel like 17, we can give Roberson like 23, and then I want to make sure that Gilgis Alexander is going to get like, we'll go 35 to the backcourt, and then we'll play. Yeah, we want to be bad too. We don't want to be that good. Says the proficiency is at a three star. Our preseason power ranking, I'm sure, is going to be very low. And it's at 18. Okay. I'm just hoping that we end up with a top 10 draft pick of our own pick. Maybe Portland's will be nice. Maybe uh, Denver's will be nice, but we'll see. All right, guys. So I'm pretty happy with our first year record as we went 33 and 49. So we'll definitely have like a top 12 pick going into the lottery. LeBron at age. 35 takes home the MVP award, so shout out to him. Zion Rookie of the Year, DeMarcus Cousins, Sixth Man of the Year, Kawhi Defensive Player of the Year, Malik Monk, Most Improved, don't think that's happening in real life, and Frank Vogel gets Coach of the Year. So we obviously didn't make the playoffs, and I think from now on for non-realistic rebuilds, so fantasy rebuilds, I'm going to do auto-generated draft classes sometimes, uh, just kind of new faces in this. Let me know if you guys find that interesting. So uh, yeah, we can just check out the standings to see what we're going to be selecting in the lottery, just so we know. So we were the fourth worst team in the Western Conference, so that would put us, ooh, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we're going to hopefully have a top 10 pick via us. Wait, I just want to see, was Portland or Denver bad? Nope, Portland made the playoffs. Denver didn't make the playoffs, so we're going to have their lottery pick from the Jeremy Grant trade. And then if we check out the player stats for this past season, Chris Paul let us in scoring 19 points and 8 assists. Schroeder, who I definitely want to move in the offseason. We just don't need these uh, this many point guards. Like three kind of startable point guards. Uh, 17 points, 4 assists. But his contract is fairly big. Um, Adams, 15.8 points, 12 and a half rebounds. He's making 25 mil uh, a year. I'll try to move him too. I just don't know what team would have the cap. Maybe Boston. We'll see. Uh, Gilgis had... Uh, 14 points, 6 assists, 45, 33, 77 splits, 3 rebounds, a steal, almost a steal and a half. I'll take that. And then anybody else important? <laughs> not really. Uh, what is uh, Basley up to? Or Basley, I should say, not Basley. Basley is up to a 77. I'll take it. So, surprise, surprise, the Lakers win it all. LeBron is your finals MVP. They beat the Sixers in 7. So, draft lottery time, we have two chances to get the number one overall pick or a top three pick. So we are going to have nine projected from us and 13 via Denver. Come on, 2K, throw out some stop and let's get a top pick. No, we actually dropped to 10. So the, a team between us and the Denver pick that we owned moved up into the top three. It was one of those three teams. I forget which one. But yeah, so we have 10 and 13 in this draft. Uh, we also have 23 via Portland. And I'm going to try to get maybe another first by trading Steven Adams or, I mean, this is the most perfect trade in the world for us. <laughs> I don't really think I'll find a realistic Chris Paul trade, unfortunately. So, yeah, I mean, would Detroit want him? Probably not. I don't think anybody would want Chris Paul. So, yeah, we're not going to be doing that, unfortunately. Oh, uh, we are going to fire Billy Donovan, actually. I just uh, think it is time to fire him. Uh, he got his chance with Chris Paul and Paul George and didn't get out of round one. So, we are going to hire Mike Stauffer for our whole budget here. Probably not the greatest idea. Okay, he doesn't want to sign that. Uh, so we'll sign Jacob Underwood instead, who's actually a little bit more affordable. And we can pick up Abraham Navarro. We'll keep John James for now. Uh, oh, come on. Um, so let me just get Navarro here. And there we go. All right, so we are going to be trading Dennis Schroeder to the Magic for the 18th pick in the NBA draft. 
they get either a starting point guard in Augustine leaving, or if they're going to start Fultz, they get a good backup point guard. All right, guys, so we made five draft picks here. So with the 10th pick, we took Vernon Carey Jr., a center out of, I believe, Kentucky. Uh, Duke, excuse me. Uh, we did take Precious Achua. Achua. Um, he's a small forward, I believe, out of Kentucky. Uh, nope, Memphis G's. Another wrong guess. Uh, Scotty Lewis, shooting guard slash small forward out of Florida. Tyrese Maxey, a point guard out of Kentucky. And then we did take Aaron Wiggins, who is a shooting guard slash small forward out of Maryland. So for team player options, I'm not going to bring back anybody here. We just had a big rookie class, so there's no point in bringing back 25-year-olds that aren't going to do much for us. So yeah, free agency also won't be that exciting. One, we're not going to have any cap space. Wasn't able to find a good trade for Steven Adams, who will be a, believe, a free agent next year. Uh, so... If anything, we can let him walk. I could try to trade him now. I don't know what team would maybe want him. But maybe like a team like Sacramento could use him. So we'll see. Memphis. And uh, do I really want this package in return? Nothing really great out of that. I mean, Atlanta would be nice. Atlanta probably could use a center. Ooh, we might, we might do Atlanta. We might do Atlanta or Sacramento. Okay, actually, let me try to work out something with Atlanta. I don't want to do all these picks and stuff. Uh, could we just do... A, oh, we get our pick back in 2022 for Steven Adams. Do they have a good center? No, they do not. So will they do this? They're not interested. We could also throw in, um, I will throw in a player if you really want. Take Mike Muscala, who actually has two and a half star trade value for some reason. So they agree to that. So we get our first back in 2022. We have so many first round picks. We're so ready to make a blockbuster trade, but I don't know for what yet at all. Um, so... If we look at the squad, we have 1, 2, Maxi could be in the G League, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, I definitely want to sign somebody in free agency. We actually do have enough for a max deal, but I'm not going to do that. DeRozan would be kind of a cool fit, um, but you know what? He just doesn't match our timeline. You know what? Nobody's offering Montrez Harrell a deal. He's a nice young center, and you know what? I'm going to offer him a three-year deal worth about 43 mil. We would still have a max for next offseason anyway. So yeah, let's give Montrezl Harrell a three-year deal. I guess the Clippers don't want to pay him, obviously, because they have bigger concerns with Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, eventually um, running up their contracts. They're paying Beverly a lot of money. I don't know if they're working out a new deal with Lou Will. Brandon Ingram is also somebody I wouldn't mind going after. Bring him to, bring him to uh, um, OKC. You know what? We're not going to be a big free agency destination. We're not. Well, tell me the last big free agent that they signed. So I think we're going to go... For Brandon Ingram, this is about what? Just under 20 mil a year. We'll see if the Pels match that. So we do pick up Harold and Brandon Ingram. We are going to read out some rights on mainly everybody. Roberson, his time in uh, OKC is done. We'll keep the trade exception open. So yeah, do we get Ingram? We do. So we pick up a nice young small forward that, was, that wanted to get paid. We had the cap space. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, now let me check how many guys we have. We have one, two. Three, we'll say four, five, six, seven. Harold will be eight. Ingram will be nine. Let's go. So if we check out player progression, Chris Paul actually progressed up to an 86 overall and went up in three-pointer uh, inside scoring playmaking. All right. Gilgis Alexander is an 83. He will be the starting point guard this year um, or the starting shooting guard. I don't know, but he's starting 100%. Harold will be the starting center. Um, Ingram starting small forward. Uh, Basley will be the uh, starting Power forward, or is it Baisley? Wow, hold on one second. All right, it's Baisley, not Basley. I don't know why I keep saying Basley. So Baisley, he'll be the starting power forward. We have a Chihuahua, he'll be like a six-man type. Uh, Lewis, I'd like to get minutes too, maybe Ferguson. Carroll as well. Maxi and Wiggins might be G League guys, or Maxi and Lewis might be G League guys, and Wiggins just might not develop into much. So he, we're not going to waste a G League spot on them. All right, so we do have three camps available. So we're going to send on top potential to Gildas Alexander. We're going to send untapped potential to Brandon Ingram. And then we're going to send untapped potential to... Hmm, do I want to do Harold, Vernon Carey Jr., ba ba Basley? Uh, we'll send it to Basley. Um, or Basley. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Let's just advance it next year's season. All right, guys. So here's how the rotation for season number two is going to look like. Chris Paul, uh, Shea Gilgis Alexander, Brandon Ingram, uh, Basley, Matres Harrell will be the starting five, and then Precious Achua will be the sixth man, Vernon Carey Jr., Ferguson, and Wiggins. So Maxi and Scotty Lewis will be in the G League this year. Says the proficiencies, three-star grit and grind, and our preseason power ranking, according to NBA.com, is actually ninth. It's pretty high. We have the 
Let's see what picks we have. So we have swap best with the Rockets, and we have our own first after this year. Next year, we will have two first from the Clippers, and then we will have two first every year for the next, like, five years. So that's cool. So I'll see you guys at the end of season number two, and let's just hope we get some improvement from our players. Maybe be a fringe playoff team. We'll see. So we definitely had some improvement this year. We win seven more games as we go 40 and 42. Another Laker player wins MVP in Anthony Davis. Rookie of the year goes to James Wiseman playing alongside Zion Williamson in New Orleans. That is kind of crazy. Paul Millsap, sixth man of the year in Detroit. Obviously backing up Blake Griffin. AD defensive player of the year. Zach Collins, most improved. And Brett Brown gets coach of the year. Chris Paul actually made all defensive first team in his age 35 season. I will definitely take that. So we unfortunately didn't make the playoffs, but hey, we are still rebuilding. So I will take it. Uh, if we check out where our... Uh, we missed the playoffs by basically two games. So we had a good season. We almost made the playoffs. Now, if we check out the player stats, Montrezl Harrell, 17 and a half points, eight and a half rebounds. I will definitely take that. A block and a half. Thank you. Chris Paul, he actually had a solid season. Like, not the greatest shooting season uh, from the field. Not bad from three. But hey, not bad. He will have one more year left on his deal because he will opt into his $44 million player option. Uh, Brandon Ingram, 16.7 points a game. 4.7 rebounds, 2 and a half assists. He's killing it in real life. He's actually doing amazing for the Pels in real life. Um, hoping maybe he can get north of 20 next year. Or not north of 20, but close to it. Maybe we can move Chris Paul's expiring. We'll see. Uh, Go just Alexander, 16 and a half points, almost 7 and a half assists. Really good season from him. I will definitely take that. Uh, Baisley had 11 and a half points, 7 rebounds. Not bad shooting percentages either for a power forward. Um, a two off the bench, 11 and a half, five and a half, 46, 28, 70. Um, Carey, 10 and a half, 5.8. There's Wiggins and Ferguson. Probably neither one of them will be in the rotation next year. Maxi's up to a 79. I want him to be the backup point guard behind Alexander. And Lewis is an 80. Maybe he'll start at the two for us next year. But yeah, I definitely want to try to move Chris Paul's expiring in the offseason. So after losing the NBA Finals last year, the Philadelphia 76ers win it this year. Ben Simmons is your Finals MVP. They beat the Warriors in seven. So draft lottery time. Let's see what we have. We are just going to have the projected 14th pick in the draft. And I think six. Okay, we'll see if we actually get the sixth pick or if that even goes to us or it's going to go to Houston or Miami. We'll see. So we actually do get that pick. It does fall to seven. Wish it got lucky there and went into the top three. But so we have the seventh pick and the 14th pick in this draft. Maybe I'll package like one of those picks, maybe the 14th pick to move on from Chris Paul. So unfortunately, I can't move Chris Paul on draft night because of his option. Uh, so we'll see what we do there. But um, I don't know what I want to do at the moment. Okay, so I think I'm just going to draft the two the two players we are going to get at 7 and 14, and I'll see you guys at rookie signings. All right, guys, I loved our draft. So with the seventh pick, we got McCurr Maker, and then with the 14th pick, we got Isaiah Todd. So two potential starting frontcourt guys, and we, t we did take Aiden. Igion. I'm just gonna say Aiden here in the second round. We'll sign him. I don't think he'll be part of our future plan. So Chris Paul obviously is gonna opt in. We'll bring back Wiggins. So not Andrew Wiggins, but uh, Aaron Wiggins. So we are gonna look to move on from Chris Paul here. I don't know. Oh my god, he has one star trade value. Let's just see if any team wants to trade for him um, in the trade finder. We'll find a team that's maybe interested. So Miami, we know they've been interested. So I might, I might, yeah, Miami might be the team. Uh, the Lakers are also interested. Did they lose out on Anthony Davis? No, but LeBron... Did LeBron retire? Oh, wow. So maybe they're getting desperate for AD. I don't know. Pistons are also interested. Uh, what's their point guard situation? Derrick Rose is a free agent. Okay, because it is only a one-year deal with Chris Paul, and he has been playing good um, in the last two years. Raptors are interested. Did Lowry move on? They moved on from Lowry? No. So that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, Timberwolves are interested for Andrew Wiggins. I don't really want Wiggins. We have Brandon Ingram. Suns, they have Rubio. Okay, so there is actually a couple teams that we could do this uh, to. So Charlotte for Bridges, that would be amazing. So Miami or the Lakers? The Lakers will give me a first. Miami would give me Mason Plumlee. Who is their point guard? Like, would this make sense? No, they have Cole Anthony. What? No? All right, so it looks like it's going to be the Lakers that we're going to be doing this trade to. They will give me a pretty solid offer. And yeah, he's definitely better than Reggie Jackson. So we would get a first off pick and... Um, Trenton Watford, you know what? I don't even want Watford. I feel like that's kind of unfair. I think a first round pick, but we can honestly make it like pretty protected. Uh, so wait, if we just did not Anthony Davis, like I can't throw protection on any of these picks. Really? Okay, that's weird. So I guess we'll just take their unprotected pick here. Um, 
Yeah, I guess we'll take it in 2025 for Chris Paul, and they agree to that. So we move on from Chris Paul. Now we can play Alexander at the full-time one, which we wanted to do. Not going to bring back Ferguson, so let's move on to free agency. Okay, nope, we're going to be making a blockbuster trade, I think. I think we're going to try to trade for Zach Levine, who is in the last year of his deal. Uh, obviously, maybe it's just not working out for Chicago. He's got a one year left on his deal, so we're going to try to hop on it. I'm going to offer them a pretty good package. So we have picks, we have players. So I'm going to first off offer them Vernon Carey Jr. And then I'm going to offer them, I believe, uh, who do I want to offer here? I guess Aaron Wiggins. Um, and then we are going to, oh wow, so Zach Levine's four and a half stars. So we might have to offer up Scotty Lewis, actually. So if we did Vernon Carey, Scotty Lewis, and let's say uh, this first round heat pick in 2023 for Zach Levine. So two nice young players. Um, one is what? How old is Lewis? He's 21. Carey Jr. is 20. And they'd get a pretty nice first round pick. Lottery protected. We will also, I think, throw in, let's say, this Rockets pick in 2024. So this is a pretty good offer for Zach Levine. And they agree to that. So I'm not worried about Zach Levine's defense because Gildas Alexander is a good defender. So at the moment, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think we're ready for next year's season. I'm very hyped now. Yeah, I just want to see, is there any, but like, obviously offering a Tatum, like a, a max deal would have been ideal, possibly. But we're going to have to pay Zach Levine anyway. And like, kind of, okay, see, they're not a big free agency destination. So we did sign our one young player, or two, I guess, young players in Harold and Ingram. So I'm not going to make any more moves in free agency. I feel like that'd be kind of unrealistic. Well, if you didn't think the trading for Zach Levine, signing Ingram or Harold weren't unrealistic, or moving Chris Paul to the Lakers. So yeah, we aren't going to do anything here in free agency. Let's just renounce all our players, and I'll see you guys at player progression. All right, so Zach Levine is an 89 overall. Gilgis Alexander is an 86. Ingram, 85. Harold, 84. Uh, Baisley, 81. I think he will start at the four. Um, and then we actually are going to have a fun bench. It's really young, but in a Chua, Maxi, Maker, and Todd. Yeah, that is going to be the bench. We're an incredibly young team. All right, so we do have three untapped potentials to use again. I'm going to send Gilgis Alexander. I want him to be a stud at the one. We are going to send Brandon Ingram. I want him to develop into a near 20 point per game score. And you know what? We will send. Uh, do we want to send. One of our first round picks last year, or we're going to say, no, we'll send Levine. Yeah, we want him to average. He averaged 27 a game last year. I don't think he's going to do that for us this year, but if he can average between like 21 and a half and 25 and a half, I will definitely take that. All right, so here's how the minutes are going to go. We have Alexander getting 35, Levine 36, Ingram 35, Baisley 28, 29 to Harrell, and then we have 26 to Achua, 22 to Maker, 17 to Todd, and then 12 to Maxi. Gritting grind is three stars. Uh, we will go to balance though, which is three and a half. And then we will check out our preseason power ranking, which is going to be, okay, lower than last year. I think last year was 9, so we're 16 this year. So let's hope we can once again be a fringe playoff team and maybe make the playoffs this year for these young guys. Another year, another Lakers player winning MVP, and that is Anthony Davis winning MVP for the LA Lakers as we go 37-45. and 45. So yeah, Davis had a great year. Bull Bull is finally a rookie as he... <laughs> Bobo is such a cheat code in this game. Set him in the G League for a year and he just turns into like literally the next like Anthony Davis, Kevin Love like hybrid. Um, RJ Hampton, sixth man of the year. Anthony Davis, defensive player of the year. Most improved goes to Lamelo Ball. Frank Vogel gets coach of the year. It's kind of unfortunate we probably missed the playoffs. So yeah, we didn't make the playoffs. So let's hope Zach Ovi doesn't leave us. Uh, we will check out the stats for this season uh, and see how... Like, who did well? So, Zach Levine, 24.7 points a game, 51, 39, 86 splits. He's really good. We're going to have to give him the max. I believe Gilgis Alexander will also be a free agent. Yep. So, we're going to have to pay him the max as well. We might look to move on from Brandon Ingram. 15 points, 4 rebounds, 2 and a half assists. I mean, what is he getting paid? Uh, I don't know. We'll see what we want to do with him. Or maybe we'll move on from, like, Montrezl Harrell. If we think, like, Maker can just be the starting center for us. Achua's not a bad bench piece. Shot efficiently, kind of. Um, Baisley, don't know if he'll be our starting power for next year. Maybe we'll go the Isaiah Todd route. Or we can move on from him, but I believe he'll be a restricted free agent. Nope, never mind. He has one more year under team control. There's Maker in his rookie year. Um, Todd in his rookie year. And then there's Tyrese Maxey. So the 76ers win it all once again. And finals MVP is Ben Simmons. They swept the Rockets. All right, so another year, another draft lottery. We will have some odds. Okay, the Clippers pick at number two. And we do have our pick at 13. So let's see what happens. And we don't get lucky once again. So we have five and 13 in this year's draft. 
Oh, the Thunder just had so many freaking picks. All right, guys, so we are going to be trading pick 5 and pick 13 to the Kings for Terrence Clark, who I plan on being our sixth man next year. He's very young. He definitely has a lot of potential. So, yeah, we're going to be making this trade, and uh, oh, we might have to throw in another pick, which is uh, definitely doable. So I will throw in our 2024 first, and they agree to that. So we're going to bring back Baisley, Achua, Maxi. Uh, we'll even bring back the second round pick, guys. So, yeah, we are going to have a couple big free agents in at least uh, Gilgis Alexander and Zach Levine. Um, we'll offer also Aaron Wiggins the qualifying offer for two sure why not so this might be a weak free agency class so let's hope wow kd never mind kd's here kyrie irving's here Kemba walker's here Ooh, zach levine yeah he's the guy we're gonna have to pay a lot of money to we're gonna have to give him like 40 mil okay wonderful wonderful but yeah we're gonna give it to him anyway i don't think any other uh team is gonna give it to him uh so yeah yeah we're definitely gonna sign him so uh Gilgis alexander though he doesn't have any offers yet but he's gonna want a decent amount of money so we are gonna bring back um, obviously Zach Levine, I'm gonna bring back Alexander, and I'm hoping next year could be the year this team, I don't know, can win a championship, or just, I don't know, contend for one. Alright guys, so this is the rotation, we're going SGA 35, Levine 35, Ingram 33, Todd 27, yeah, we're gonna start him over Baisley, Harold 25, and then Clark, Maker, Baisley, um, and Achua will be the bench. System efficiency, uh, balance is three star, or three and a half, so we'll stay with that. And then our preseason power ranking is 11 on NBA.com. So let's hope this team develops and can maybe bring us to um, just a playoff run. That'd be nice. All right, guys. So we're going to end season number four with our video best 55 and 27 record. So Isaiah Todd gets most improved. So that's pretty cool. We are actually the one seed in the Western Conference. Finally, we got some development. We're taking on the Timberwolves in round one. who have Sexton, Culver, Rocco, Gallo, and Towns. With Thomas Bryant, okay, uh, THT Crowder, not bad. All right, so if we check out the stats for the season, Levine, um, Alexander were kind of close to each other now, so Levine kind of dropped off a little bit, but that's okay because, you know what, like Terrence Clark was a 14.5 point scorer off the bench on really good efficiency. Uh, Ingram was solid, I guess. Um, maybe Clark would have been a better three than Ingram. Um, Todd, not bad. You know what, Maker, okay. I know if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But what I'm going to do for the playoffs is I'm actually going to swap Ingram and Terrence Clark. Terrence Clark just seems like he's just a lot better of a player. So, yeah, I'm doing it. I, I hope I didn't just mess it up. Because if I lost in round one after doing that, I would just blame it on that. And, of course, we go down 1-0. But, you know what? We are just going to win in five or six. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, do not go down 3-1. to one. Go up 3-2. to two. Do not go down 3-2. to two. Oh, my God. Don't do this to me. Don't lose in round one. Come on. Game seven. Let's do this. Yes. Okay. We move on. So, now we're taking on the Denver Nuggets, who have Jamal Murray, Avery Bradley, Otto Porter, Kevin Love, Nikola Jokic, Adams, Noel off the bench, Medu, Diop, Marcus Morris. Holy crap. They're a big team. A lot of height out there. Let's see if we can match up with them well. We take game one. We take game two. We don't take game three. Um, three to one us, and we are going to win in six. Come on. Don't blow through one. Come on.